how much do you know about Western Australia's history with 40,000 years of Aboriginal culture and centuries of European influence? Well, there's a lot to explore. And some of these old buildings are the keepers of that history. You may have walked past the Cloisters building many times before. It's on St George's Terrace, right in the heart of Perth. These days, it's used for offices with a plaza and shopping arcade behind, but it's also a link to our past. Matthew Hale, the first Anglican Bishop of Perth, actually opened the building as WA's first high school. It was built by convicts in 1858. And with only a small number of convict constructed buildings still standing in our capital, historians consider this a priceless part of Perth's heritage. Richard, some of the colony's first leaders were educated right here. Yes, indeed, including John and Alexander Forrest, who were explorers, premiers of Western Australia, governors of Western Australia, and lots beside. This building was the first secondary school in Western Australia. It was the brainchild of Bishop Matthew Blagden Hale. Now, it was designed by Richard Roach Jewell, who was the first professional architect in the colony, very much in his Tudor Gothic style. And you can tell it's by him just by looking at other buildings like Barracks Arch, uh, the Government House, all in a similar style. It opened in June of 1858 with just 23 students, all of whom were from the upper echelons of society here in Perth. The Cloisters building was almost demolished on two separate occasions, once in the 30s and again in the 60s, but a campaign generated strong support for it to be saved. It was a similar story with Barracks Arch, which is just up the road here on St George's Terrace. The retention of these two buildings was really the turning point in raising awareness about the need to protect Perth's history. Buildings like this are a visible reminder of Perth's history. They help to give us a sense of place and they help us to learn from the past for the future. So buildings like this old secondary school, the wonderful tree next to it which was planted in the 19th century, all help to give us this sense of history which goes back in Perth over 40,000 years. It really is wonderful what you can discover if you delve a little deeper into the history of Perth. Now, if you're just as fascinated about what went on in some of these old buildings all those years ago, Heritage Perth has all the details. You can explore for yourself. Head to our website, we'll put up a link.